I'll take the vicious looking weapon out of the, the video. Hello, my peeps. It is Tracy here, your friendly neighborhood paper pusher. Uh, if you read my newsletter, this is a couple minutes later. And it's only a couple minutes later because I had to go look up some information so I could tell you the right stuff. But I cannot wait to crack in to the new paper pusher. Paper pusher. Paper pumpkin. Um, I get so excited when these come. I love to craft. I love to make up my own things. Um, and most things I do. But I... Oops, that's not safe. But I do do love a nice simple project where somebody else has done all the work and I just get this little box and it's a surprise and I get to have fun and I get to make things. So, I love me paper pumpkin. <laughs> um, it's fun too because lately they've been making like decorative boxes instead of just the orange box. And um, I have, when I look over at my shelf of half made kits, because I, sometimes I start and I finish and I wait, and, but I've been saving some of the boxes and it is just a, Oh, they're just so much fun. And you look at it, and it just, it's all the fun that comes with all the things. Um, <laughs> the dog wants the cellophane I just took off the paper. Put it down, Russell. Um, it just, I guess that sound of crinkling plastic is just too much for him. <gasps> oh, I'm so scared. Okay. Total nerd alert. I'm going to totally nerd out over this. I feel no shame in the fact that I nerd out over paper crafting. So you get to just come along with me. Oh my goodness, look at this cute Santa. Back to this box. I'm gonna have to do this, it's in the way. Uh, that said, <laughs> that said, I'm not gonna be able to see anything. <clears throat> okay, look at the cute little set and his reindeer, and then this happy little dude. Uh, and then we have, I get so excited about that. Oh, Trina, you, uh, Trina, my sister, you know you're getting a ho 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 card, and there's a story there, yes, there is. Uh, Tis the season to be Dolly, Christmas holiday, deliver to, oh, that's cute. Mary, Santa Claus is coming to town, and holly jolly. Oh, very cute. Uh, this is a good size stamp set. When you look at this, this is a good size stamp set. But for envelopes and stuff, oh my goodness. Okay, well here, we'll leave that out where you can see it. So that's a much better picture. We'll keep that for the next one. Um, we have early espresso. Ink spot. Sorry for a moment there. I just like completely lost it and forgot what they were called. Look at this. I would say this is shaded spruce. A nice deep green. And this one, because it came off nicely, and because I might actually need to make a gift bag soon, I'm not just going to crumple up and torment the dog with and throw in the garbage. I'm actually going to keep it. Okay. Oh, these cards. Then i got to make sure. I'll, I'll put the knife away because I'm dangerous with it, but... Get my packaging scissors. Oh, you guys. You guys, you guys, you guys. Oh, there we go. More cellophane to drive the dog nuts. All right, Rascal. Not for you. Okay, what do we got here first? I'm going to tease you till the last minute. Oh, we got some nice little gems. I can never have too many dimensionals. I like dimensionals under every layer. Look at even the envelopes. Are, oh, even the envelopes are pretty. This is kind of a... A soft greenish color. You can't really probably tell very well in there. Oh my god, look at that. That's cool. Oh, I hope one of the things looks like that. I'm even close enough. Remember this one. This one ties into something later. Oh my goodness, look how pretty the envelopes are. <laughs> Who needs cards? Let's just look at envelopes. Okay, here we'll do this. Start stacking up. Oh, we can almost keep them all on screen. Okay, so we have some card bases. Oh, this, no, this is going to be too confusing. Look at these cards. Are they not gorgeous? Oh my god. Oh, and there it is. There's my little sunset sky with my little Santa. Okay, so we have joy, 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 joy. Um, I have no idea what's gotten into me this afternoon. Um, oh my god, I love these cards. And look at this. And there's like little die cuts out of... Oh my goodness. Okay, so card base number one. Which, when you pulled it in half, looks like ass. Um... Oh, those are my good... Oh, yeah. Okay. This is part of the Ho 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 card. I like how everything's done for you as well. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, just a minute. Let me let me see what... Why look at the instructions? Let's just, let's just rifle through and see what we come up with. Okay, so this one... Oh, this is for the... That's for the one with the snowflake die cuts. So this... Let's try not to hold all three of them at once. So this one has this layer go over top of it with some dimensionals. Oh, look how pretty that is. 
Ooh, I like it. I like it. This one went on top of this one. I could actually make these cards, but it's more fun just to play with all the pieces. Oh my goodness, look at these. Okay, so I'll sort as I go. Maybe that would be a good idea. Put that one there. Those ones go with that. These ones go with this. I do, I, you know, sometimes it's weird, the little things, but this little paper with the starry sky, I adore. And that's going to go on these cards. There appears to be another layer that goes in there. Um, I'm, hol I'm holding off on showing you the vellum because <coughs> I'm curious if it works the way I think it does. So we'll just put that over the stamp set for now. Oh, look at the little the little joys. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. I kind of thought so. Stamp it up is very good to us. Very smart the way they do things. And generally gives you extra stuff. So, let me just, before I say that, let me just clarify. Nine cards and nine envelopes. Okay. So, we're making three of each of these designs. So, we're making three of the Joy Santas. But you will notice we have three cards. And each one of them has two Santas on it. Oh, for a minute there, I thought we were getting away with that. Nope, sorry, there's two cards that have Santas. I was going to say, they just gave us a whole bunch of extra Santas. Oh, but you know what they did give us? Oh, I'm so excited about this stuff. You know, one of these times I will actually open the box calmly, look at everything, figure it out, and then tell you, so it makes way more sense. But um, this Santa stamps over top of this little kind of like soft template there, which you could use just like that. That's why I thought it was cute. But if you put this dude over top, it gives some definition to all those things. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. That's so adorable. Totes adorb. I, I don't think I said that right. But if you know me, you're not surprised because I am the least hip person there is. Okay, so this is what I was hoping. I was hoping that we would have some ho 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 die cuts. Because what they gave us was these vellum pieces that I could tell went behind the ho ho ho. Now you can stamp directly onto vellum. Uh, you just have to be careful because if not you end up smudging and because this is meant to be you know quick and easy i was thinking they're probably not gonna give us the hard way but this is this is very trendy now you will notice dyes and stuff like that uh stampin up has dyes like that sort of go like this that say thank you you are amazing i think there's one more in there i can't remember now but what it is is you basically you cut like a shadow layer and then you cut the the word layer and you put them over top of each other and it's so pretty so in this case we, that's what they've done for us because they're geniuses and then oh look at all these pretty snowflakes pretty snowflakes you can't quite see i'm gonna guess oh no yes you can but they are oh i was trying to spell at the time too because i've forgotten the word <laughs> they're oil slick is what i would call them but i know that's not the right word you know when you get oil on top of water and it gives you that rainbow of colors? Iridescent. They are that. Oh, look how pretty those are. Birdie birdie. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to making these cards and cracking into this. But before I get uh, I was going to make this a short video. Uh, just because there's lots going on right now. And I, this is the... Okay, well, technically this is the third video I've done today. But it took me... I don't know, because I haven't done a video in so long. It took me... I think three tries to get the first video right I finally got like the customer version and the demo vi version of this video I was making right only to realize that I had muted the microphone on my camera so as, as much as I thought they were right there was absolutely no sound so then I made them again well then I was trying to remember what I said in the first one that just threw me off so then I had like two or three more tries so while this is the third video I'm making today third finished product I am making today uh, it is probably the 15th video so we're gonna keep it short because I just about have no voice left and um, but I'm gonna tell you so this kit which is fantastic and awesome oh my goodness I do love this I do I do is going to coordinate with the November one now this is the, they always put they always put little teasers and stuff out, so normally we don't get to see very much. So I'm going to guess there's a Santa hat in the other one, because there's one in the box. But what we do know... Um, okay, so I'll show you this. What we do know... I'll show you that after. Is it has 12 tags. Four of each. And we and you get to see like little graphics like this. As demonstrators... Um, there are so many perks of being a demonstrator. As demonstrators, we get to see a, like a little video that Andrew does, who's the 
manager in charge of the production of the paper pumpkin kit and he shows a little you know snippet so we do know that this is a paper pumpkin exclusive um glimmer paper that they made for here and i want to say pool party and now i totally forgot i'm pretty sure it's pool party here it's going to coordinate with this so it's on this one Yeah, it says Bermuda Bay, but that is definitely not Bermuda Bay. It's not dark enough, unless it's a lighter shade of it. Anyway, lovely glimmer paper. These little snowflakes, which did not show up very well at all. This is this is my low school zoom, where I just put the paper up closer and closer. Uh, those are also glimmery. Look at this. What happened to my, what happened to my focus? <laughs> That's a funny question. One focus, totally shot. This focus, back down. So this is awesome to make, especially if you're hand delivering them. You can put this in place of where the post office would put the stick, the, what do they call it when they cancel the letter? Oh my goodness, I, I love that. And it says express delivery from the North Pole. Okay, so we know that there's 12 tags in this one and that the finished tags are two by three. Oops, it's awesome. We also know that, and these are actually available right now, but that they're adding on, they call them the North Pole sacks. And so to me, if, originally I was thinking, they're going to be like Santa sacks. Um, and a few years back, we had sort of some canvassy type bags. But um, I do know from visiting family in the, in the States that Americans do call paper bags sacks. So these actually are paper bags. Now, they say they're food safe. So I'm going to assume, and I will tell you for sure when I get them, that they're, the inside will have like a waxy coating on it that makes them food safe. Which means you can pop a cookie in or something, and one, it's not going to... Like the cookie's not going to absorb anything bad, but it also means that it won't leach through the bag and leave little spots and stuff. But you notice how they coordinate with the card that went with this envelope? Isn't that pretty? Um, I'm also pretty excited about these because these do not scream Christmas to me. Um, you can certainly make them look like Christmas. I mean, oh, look at that bad boy. Isn't that gorgeous? So this is the same bag, um, and this is just using stuff from the catalog. Actually, these might be the snowflakes from this the kit that I just opened. I didn't. But yeah, the rest of this stuff is just stuff we can get in the in the catalog. But look how pretty that is, and definitely Christmassy. But if you wanted to make these bags uh, into other things, you easily could. And personally, I think it's they're at a great price point. Twelve bags for five fifty. So shipping and tax, we're looking at like maybe six fifty by the time we're done. But um, but this is a great idea. And the finished bags are four by six. So not big enough to stick a card in, just a little bit too small for that. Just a little narrow. They're long enough. They're just a little narrower. But you could easily put note cards and gifts and gift cards and treats and, like I said, cookies. and Oh, very excited about those. So these we can order right away, and I am going to. Um, the kit itself, we have till the 10th of November to order. And then it usually ships within a few days, and then we have it afterwards. And then you get to be all excited like me when you are sitting at your desk and you see the lovely... FedEx lady walking up the steps and you can see her because she's walking up and she's carrying this box and you know what's coming so once again so this kit is absolutely gorgeous um, if you missed out on the first one I will watch for refills um, I do have to have one extra kit of this because I I was trying to make a demo of something and forgot to cancel the Merrick's account that I made so I have an extra one of these kits but if you're looking for the refills um, or want to get your they might have full kits I'm not 100 percent sure uh, let me know if you're interested in the next kits let me know and um, I'm going to I got a couple things I have to do right now because my I said my 15 takes on my video has put me a little behind um, I'm going to put these together probably in the morning and I will post the finished products but oh my goodness I'm so excited about making these cards let me know if I can help you with anything paper pumpkin or stamping related um, or if you just want me to nerd out over stamping supplies because it amuses you I can easily do that too. Have a great, oops, have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Bye.